So welcome to the number three question of the Iromo pointer. Okay, today we are going to address number three question. What is this STROSPN? What does it stand for? So that is a function in C library that is used to determine the length of an initial segment of a string that consists entirely of the characters from a specific set of characters. It is defined by the main header, which is this. This is the main, the main header that we have written, which is the main dot h file, and this guy is inside, right? Which is this guy is inside, and if you check here, if you check the code, you will see that we use this number three, three main, this main to check to compile it. This is the prototype. It is in the main header dot h. Is the main dot h header file. Okay, so um, we we are going since we have written we are, we are going to write this. Um, main file to, to compile it. So what we are going to do? So this you, you you're using this sample code from here to write it. Okay. So what you just go you make sure you enter your v take number three main dot c. You know. Then you enter. Okay. Okay. So then when you do that, you close it. Then you go and create the main, the major file, which is the file that will carry the main code for the question. <coughs> then you use the V and you. So in our code, we are going to have. The following in our code we are going to have we are going to have the 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 header which is the header that is the first thing we are going to have then the comments then after the comments we are going to use the the this on this unsigned integer this like this we are going to use it this is a function prototype right so we are going to use them we, we, we are going to have we are going to have um, the, the the unsigned integer initialize then we we'll, we'll create the value we'll create the value of the initialization will be equals to zero then we'll create a a for loop where i is equals to zero then x like that, we continue. Then we check for the check it if it's zero. Check if it's equal to zero. Then another for loop again. Then we use if statement to accept the the, the 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 n the number. So which is the uh, the last thing we are going to do. So I'll quickly pause my okay. So we just this is the header file. This is the comment. Then this is the minute, please. That is the unsigned control prototype. Then you can see it here. Okay, so. After that, what you just do is, is it, make sure you save. Then the next thing you do, you add your, your compile. You compile first, you know how to compile. You go back and compile using this code here like this. Easy to compile, that is what you use to compile. So, drop it, let's see how it run. Then I will. Yeah. So you, you can see it, it went well. So the next thing you add to add to git is 
and all we get commit SQL Okay, <clears throat> push. Okay. So that's it. Now let's go and check if we have it right from the Right. So let's follow the same step. Get it right. Please like, subscribe so that you can get fresh content on real time. Thank you very much.